What is up everyone, it's Mr. Slinger Girl coming at you with another shout out. Today I am shouting out Abe's Mission Control, and as you can see he's in Ham and Ager, PC Gamer, and he thanks you for stopping by. So check him out if you're into stuff like De De Deus X and Alan Wake and other things like that. He loves Rome, Total War, and Red Faction, so check him out if you want to see playthroughs. I think he even did a playthrough of Mass Effect 3. So He's a pretty cool guy, I know him personally, and he could definitely use some subs, so sub to him, like his videos, and definitely tell him Still Speak sent you. So, yeah, please do that, and I would greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure he would too. So thanks, guys! What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Supreme Commander 2 cast, and this was sent in by a viewer, and I have to say thank you so much for that, because it was during a major replay drought, and that has since been somewhat remedied, but feel free to send in those re replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com, because I could always use them, and if I'm not using them right this instant, I could definitely use them a little later. So be patient if you send them in, I will check them out. I may or may not cast them, so please be understanding of that. But definitely send them to me because I would love to see them either way. Anyhow, guys, um, I know you're probably all wondering, where is my tournament reveal video or tournament announcement video? It's coming. Give me some time. I have to make that video happen. And it just takes a little time. I've been super busy, guys, so please, please forgive me. Um, it's coming. I, ha I still have to make the challenge, and it will be here. I plan on doing it tomorrow, which is a Saturday, so I should have a little bit of time. Since I work full-time and all that stuff, I'm in my 30s, guys, so give me a break. Having a life and being older is definitely not that easy, so... That will be something to talk about in another video. But anyhow, guys, let's check it out and see how these players get on on open palms. So let me introduce the first player down at the bottom. We got Killer Jake. I have not seen this guy around at all. He is the blue Cybern Commander dropping down what looks like some eco and maybe some... Power generators. I don't know what this guy is going for. Uh, oh, and a research station. I think he's going for a research heavy build. And yeah, those are two research stations being queued up. I would like to see what he's going to do. Maybe he, maybe we'll see him do a megalith rush or something. He is definitely going for lots of eco there. And his opponent to the north, Ruiki, spawning in as the orange UEF commander. He is dropping down a single land factory. He really wanted to get that radar down up first. Usually you don't see the radar down first, but maybe he is worried about a nasty rush. Because sometimes Cybern really get in there early on and just cause major problems. An energy generator, that's a little early for an energy generator in my opinion. But hey, I am not playing this game, so what do I know? Against a Cybern, you definitely want more than one land factory. You definitely want to have at least two. If you can afford three, it would be even better. Oh, but he wants that second land factory up closer to the front. So that makes sense there. Not... Oh, he wants three land factories, but he's having a... A... Engineer do it, which is not a bad thing, but he definitely would want to... Get that commander over there and help build that when he can. And an ACU? Is that an ACU rush? Let me see how many on... Looks like it's going to be three research stations. Already within two minutes, he is getting in there. Killer Jake. I haven't seen any research pop up for Killer Jake. And a point defense. I would like to see that a little up closer so he can't just walk in there. He's got the radar in his ACU. And... On a side note, before I really butcher names here, Ryuki, I really hope that is how I say your name. And you definitely want to get a shield on that factory ASAP, and that is the right thing to go after Killer Jake. Killer Jake making good on his name and destroying that poor, poor little engineer that wish he could. 
And he really wants to get a shield on that factory and drop down another point defense. Killer Jake should be a little bit more aggressive here because he's definitely not doing... Um, not going, he should be moving up here and just attacking all day long. And the dynamic power shunt is being researched. He really shouldn't have just stood there. Now, Ryuki knows definitely what is coming because he saw that glow. The dynamic power shunt is on the way to the nanobot weapon. So, Ryuki has a very good idea of what Killer Jake is doing. Killer Jake is definitely going for a mass extraction kill. And I like what Ryuki's doing here. He's not going after the commander who is obviously more powerful than these units. But he is going to attack Killer Jake's base right out. Just try to take it out. He would do much better with some, some MMLs going along for the ride. Because this point defense is definitely going to murder everything and he's getting really close to things i think he's going to try to kill that um research station but that's not the really the right thing you want because these units here they're, they're so structure detonate and that could do a lot of damage and all these units have not really focused on anything they're getting killed by that um point defense and ryuki went for um, training on his commander, which isn't a bad idea whatsoever. And Killer Jake is getting a land factory really close, and I kind of think that's a great idea there, and he's really doing a great job ecoing. He has not let that eco go down, but he really should be getting more land factories back here to really s fight off this small incursion here, and that point defense should not be so close to these other units. He should really put it right here where my cursor is, Right under a factory shield, that would do so much more work against these rockhead tanks here. And these rockhead tanks should really be going for this eco up here that is completely, completely undefended. And I like this. A, a meteor is coming out for Ryuki. Ryuki should be doing something with this commander. I like this command. This commander is repairing. That is the right thing to do. And these Brackmen are being super annoying, doing some damage to this. Uh, factory. Is there a shield generator on it? I do not know. There should be a shield generator if Ryuki is so concerned with keeping it alive. Now, Killer Jake has tactical missile launcher on this factory. And why is he building an energy generator right there? That is not the right answer at all. The energy generator should be somewhere a little more safe. And this factory is definitely going to die with that TML. The Commander nanobot weapon. Did he research nanobot weapon? I did not see that. Oh, tactical missile launcher on the commander. And I think there is nanobots in that. A point defense and a bunch of Brackman. That is definitely going to take down any factory in the area. And bombers for Killer Jake. Really, I, I don't like what... Um, how Ryuki is controlling this army down here. He just put a couple of meteors... Move them to their deaths, where they could have easily taken out these four. Is that three? There's three of them. Three rapid fire point defense. This point defense are just wiping the floor with these poor guys. Um, and a point defense. That AA. That is definitely the right answer right there. An AA tower, hopefully within range. No, he's not in range there to the fact air production facility, but. Definitely within range of the rest, just getting wiped the heck out. Um, Ryuki really needs to repair that. That is the right move. And it looks like we're experiencing a base trade scenario, which is always exciting here. And still speaks because it's just interesting to see what happens. Killer Jake is taking lots of damage, but the engineer is to the rescue to repair the commander. Falling in the red, taking point defense fire right to the face. Definitely the nanobot weapon is a go, taking lots of damage, doing lots of damage there. And Killer Jake needs to really be aggressive with this stuff right here. Just take out his enemy's base. And Ryuki definitely remembered to expand here. Really, Killer Jake needs to get in there and get done with that. And an engineer would be really smart back here, making some sort of unit to cause some havoc. And I like that the meteors are going 
for the research stations. That is a great idea. Definitely take these things out. But that regen, why are they regening so fast? Wow. Down goes one research station. Now, that is not a bad idea. And basing Killer Jake's base. He, Ryuki is so smart. He is still expanding. That is the right thing to do. He may be on the back foot right now. But he's still expanding. It, it appears Killer Jake is... He really would be wise to get some Cobras out. That would be a great way to destroy his enemy's base. And maybe stop putting research points into his command... ACU, his commander. He might do better to go right for Megalith. And that would be a great plan. Going for Megalith. Because he's got these two research stations here that are giving him research points very, very quickly here. And did that engineer die? It looked like that engineer died. Oh, one engineer... Oh, he was trying to build the air facility, but he decided to go with a land production facility. Now, they are no point defense here in this area, except for that one that's not done being built, but it's, it doesn't matter. It's dead. So, these meteors are just doing whatever the heck they want. As Ryuki builds... A wonderful fortified artillery station. And this commander push could be effectively shut down if they got, um, what was that called? The, um, my goodness, I forgot what it was called. It's where it turns, oh, there it is. He turned that into a point defense doing lots of damage. Man, I knew what that was called where it turns these things into a disgustingly powerful point defense. Now, Com Killer Jake is going to have one heck of a time getting through here, unless he gets a bunch of Cobras. What is Killer Jake doing? Why isn't he build building a million Cobras to go against this? That would be the way to go. Adapters and Cobras would be the greatest way to punish that fortified artillery. And I think it's actually called Fortified, maybe? I am unsure, but it doesn't really matter. We all know what it does. Two fortified artilleries with a third one on the way. And Killer Jake may have made a mistake building a little bit too close. Now, that air unit, air production facility is done. It is so dead. Now, Killer Jake... Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Killer Jake is on the back foot now. And I think Killer Jake... Uh, for the first time in this game, may actually have a chance to lose. Um, the research stations now have point defense. The mass extractors have point defense. Killer Jake really should have done the wise thing and put gone for the megalith. He could still do that right now, but it'll be a little bit more difficult because these two research stations are dead. He's got one air unit, and I don't know what he is trying to accomplish with that. And an AA tower gets done by Ryuki, just wiping that bad boy off the face of the planet. Killer Jake would be really, really wise to start building stuff back here. And look at these engineers just chilling here. One is going for a string of P-Gens, and the rest are going for mass. It looks like he's... It looks like Ryuki has the mass for it. And he's really going to go get a bunch of fortified artilleries here. This is going to be a complete nightmare for Killer Jake. Why is he going for air? That is an interesting choice, guys. I don't know why. Oh, we just got nailed with a fortified artillery. He's getting kissed by some, too. Um, I don't know why Killer Jake is going for double air factors, especially in range of these fortified artilleries. It's just going to be a reign of death. He really wants to... Go for experimentals at this point. A couple of megaliths and even, even a cicada could cause major, major pain to this little encampment here. All he has to do is go in and out. And I like this sucking up that yummy, yummy mass. A group of engineers on an attack move or a patrol route just eating that delicious mass, feeding Ryuki... And really feeling his economy, I know he has to have a lot better economy than Killer Jake. Because Killer Jake right now is definitely on the back leg. And it looks like he doesn't have much to combat this. I like how he has a bunch of adapters 
mitigating all that damage to the land factory. But that land factory is not all that important unless he gets a whole bunch of Cobras. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth much. A whole bunch of Cobras could just launch here and do what it needs to do. And Ryuki getting the structure training on, and that could be extremely, extremely powerful, um, considering that he's got a bunch of fortified artilleries, which could definitely do some good with fortifications. And Ryuki is building a bunch of shield generators. He really does not want his enemy getting in here. His enemy would have one heck of a time getting in there. And I like it. He's building a bunch of research stations, which also have point defense on them. So Killer Jake has overcommitted. He could not do anything against this stuff here. Killer Jake needs to go experimentals. He probably could build some mass right here and hang out because it's clear that Ryuki is wanting to take out that land factory and he doesn't have much to do with it. But he's really, really running away with that mass gain. Now, Killer Jake is getting nailed by a bunch of point defense. Why is he just standing there? He should at least attempt to dance. But I think he is done dancing. I think he is going for it. Just balls to the wall, guys. He's just going for it. Like, he, he just does not care right now. This point defense shooting at his face. Dropping him in the red. I think it's suicide time. I think it's... Death by point defense is what he's going for. He's getting hit by MMLs, a couple of tanks, and boom! Down he goes. I think he knew he was beaten. And now he's... Killer Jake is a beautiful mushroom cloud of death. Um, he definitely had a great advantage there early on, but he definitely lost that super fast as he really, really overcommitted to that ACU push, but very well done there in the beginning there, Killer Jake. If you were able to turn that into a, like, even regular units, if you turned them into regular land units, turn that into a push, um, getting Cobras earlier, that could have definitely done something. But if he went to experimentals, he could have been close to unstoppable. Cobras, Megaliths and adapters would really do him so good. And if he gets a cicada, that would be really, really helpful. And if he really needed to, he could sit back and do some artillery. Um, that could have done really, really good. And our winner, Ryuki, he sent me in the replay. So thank you so much. I think he sent that in a week or two ago. But there he is, just chilling with his fortified artilleries, his point defense under his shield. He is looking. He wants you to look at his spinning wheels because they are spinning counterclockwise because if they're spinning clockwise they are not pimping everybody um of course i am just playing i don't know whether it's pimping or not pimping and pimping's not even a very good word anyway but i just thought it would be kind of funny to say but anyhow guys um ryuki is the man right now because he d he held off an acu rush a cybern acu rush which is really difficult to deal with because cybern really have the have a way of dealing with massive units with their nanobot weapons so very well done ryuki thank you for sending that in that in so guys um stay tuned for that tournament announcement video because it is coming and feel free to subscribe to abe's abe's mission control that i shouted out earlier he is definitely a cool guy and he will definitely like you for it, but definitely, definitely tell him you still speak sent to and like some of his videos. But speaking of videos you should like, you should definitely like this one and like the rest of mine. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, um, and share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well, guys. And send your replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com. And as always, everyone, GG.